हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ दिसंबर लीड को चैलेंज एंड टुडे क्वेश्चन इज सूडो पैलेंड्रोमिक पार्ट इन द बाइनरी ट्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू आर गिवन अ बाइनरी ट्री एंड द डिजिट्स एंड द वैल्यूज इन द ट्री होल्ड फ्रॉम वन टू नाइन दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर दैट द वैल्यूज रेंज फ्रॉम वन टू नाइन एंड यू नीड टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल सूडो पैलेंड्रोमिक पार्ट दैट कैन बी जनरेट डेट आर प्रेजेंट इन द ट्री हाउ डू डि फाइन अ सूडो पैलेंड्रोमिक पार्थ Uh, any path from the root of the node to the leaf, uh, which is kind, which is a permutation of a palin, which which is a permutation of a palindromic string. For example, in this tree, you are given a uh, two three three is not a palindromic path. It is not directly a palindromic string. However, you can generate a palindromic string using the digits two three three. Uh, if you uh, reorder them as three two three. It is you can form one of the palindromic string, and hence you need to count it as one occurrence of the pseudo palindromic path. Similarly, two one one uh, can be reordered as one two one. Uh, it is again a pseudo palindromic path, but because you can generate a palindromic string out of it, uh, the total number of such occurrences uh, is what you need to identify in this question. Uh, in this example, it would be two for two three three one path is this, and the other path is two one one. Uh, we can reorder them and generate two palindromic uh, strings out of it, and that's it. You need to count uh, such palindromic uh, pseudo palindromic paths that can be generated uh, from this tree, provided the paths are from the root of the tree uh, to the leaf nodes. So let's quickly look at the algorithm that I have devised, starting from beginning. Let me just take a pen. So what is a palindromic number? A palindromic number. Let's go to the basics and let's define what is a palindromic number. A palindromic number is a number that remains the same when its digits are reversed. Uh, I have taken two examples here. One is an odd length palindromic number and one is even length palindromic number. For those who don't know what is a palindromic number, uh, uh, in this case one six four six one. If you reverse the digits of the number, you get the same digit again. Uh, you can also say it is a mirror image uh, about half of its length. About Uh, the y-axis, which is the middle point of the uh, middle point of the of the number, uh, and here you will see that uh, in odd length palindromic number, all uh, the, the frequency of all elements is even except for one, which is a middle element. Now let's exam take example for the even length palindromic number one six four four six six. Again, if you reverse the number uh, like this. We'll get the this number again, and it is again it is a mirror reflection by the uh by the middle of it again, which is in this case is somewhere between the midpoint of four and four. Uh, here you will see the frequency of all the elements is even, uh for the even length palindromic number. So just remember these two points, so it will help us uh, design the algorithm better. So what we are gonna do, uh we will traverse the tree in a DFS fashion. And we will store the frequencies of all numbers at all the points. And as soon as we reach the uh, leaf node, we will check whether uh, the the frequencies of all the number can generate a palindromic string or not. If it can generate, we will add it to our result set. If we, it can't, it if it cannot generate, uh, we will ignore it. Ignore this case. So here, what we will do. Here the map will uh, the map will contain two comma one because uh, we have a number two whose frequency is one. Here the map will contain two comma one and three comma one. And now we will reach a uh, two three three. Here the map will contain two comma one and three comma two. Since it's a leaf node, uh, we will check it's a possible candidate for a palindromic. Uh, palindro pseudo palindromic string, and we will check uh, whether all the frequencies uh, in this map are even in nature except one. If it that is the case, we will update our answer set. So answer plus plus. We will increment the answer then, and we will continue this algorithm across all the leaf nodes. We will go back. We will reduce the frequency by one. We get three one again. This frequency again, and we went here, and now it's two comma one. Three comma one and one comma one. Since uh, it has multiple 
numbers whose frequency is odd in nature it cannot generate a palindromic substring we'll ignore this case we go back the traversal this this and we come here we have 2 comma 1 and again 1 comma 1 since it's not a leaf node we'll move ahead with the iteration we we get here 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 and we'll again check because it's a leaf node whether it's a possible candidate for pseudo palindromic string or not since it is because it has only one uh, odd length or uh, odd frequency element and others are even in nature uh, we will update the answer to 2 so uh, answer got incremented to 2 uh, by virtue of ans plus plus and uh, the traversal is done the answer is 2 uh, i'll exactly quote what i have stated line by line so just wa just watch the code now let's define a variable that will store the number of palindromic a path that are there in the tree and let's define an array that will store the frequency frequency array also uh, i made a point uh, there that the all the elements are have, are having values from 0 to 9 uh, that means the size of this frequency array would be 10 oh, it's from 1 to 9 still i'll take an extra element there uh, let's just define the helper method. It will have two variables in it. One is the root, another one is the frequency, and you'll simply return the answer there. Standard way of writing any traversal in a tree. Private void helper tree node root and or the frequency map. Let's write the code. If for the case root is null, we'll just continue with the process. We'll update the frequency. Uh, what is the value uh, at the current node root.val? We'll increment its frequency and we will check if root.left equals to null, whether it's a leaf node or not, and root.right equals to null. Again, if it is, now we got a leaf node we, reach, we have reached a leaf node this is a leaf node since it's a leaf node it's a possible contender of for pseudo palindromic string is palindromic permutation i am defining another method and i'll pass the frequency array to it if it is we will increment the answer count if it is not, we just ignore and move ahead and we will recursively pass over the left part of it and the right part of it using the frequency array. When, when, once we are done with one particular part till the bottom, we'll reduce the frequency because we are no more incorporating that node. Standard way of what we do in backtracking and writing the helper method is palindromic permutation what it will have it will have the frequency array and will define a boolean uh, odd frequency found it is false by default and let's iterate through element all the elements in the frequency array if el modulus 2 is not equal to zero that means it's odd frequency odd frequency found we'll check if odd frequency found is true if it is true we have already found one such case and we'll return false from it because there can't be two odd frequencies if it is not we'll update the odd frequency to true so because so that we have only one such possible case Otherwise, we will return true. So let's try and run this code. I have tried to make it add more as modular as possible. You can move this logic to a method as well. Let's run it. Expected answer is two. Let's submit it. Accept it. Let me just talk about the time complexity of this approach. 
So you are traversing all the nodes only once, hence the time complexity would be of any standard tree traversal order of n. And uh, let's talk about the space complexity now. Uh, you are keeping track of uh, all the uh, you are keeping track of the frequency that each node. So that uh, at each node. So the worst case complexity for a squid a squid, squid tree would be. Uh, the size of the frequency are into order of n uh, that is sc would be order of n into uh, 10 size that is constant size so that is again order of n thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it